Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Charles here, the bearded guru. So, um, question came up: How do you make an image span full width of the page? It's two different ways I, I go about doing this. Um, depends on what, however you want to do it. Um, keep in mind when we're stretching an image all the way across 100%, the wider it stretches, the taller it's going to get. Just remember that. Um, especially the size of the image is going to matter as well. This is just a regular image thrown up and here we go. So first thing we need to do, um, we need to get this section ID, right? So we're going to grab this, copy it, go down here in our custom CS. We're going to paste that in. Um, open a curly bracket, close curly brackets. Now what we're going to do is add a class here of container. I spell that right. Container enter. And then we're going to give this a width of 110%. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to paste that section ID back in there and we're going to target the enter content comma. We're going to paste that in again and we're going to target the row. Open curly brace, close curly brace. I'm going to give this a width of 100%. Important. I'm going to give this a padding of zero. Important. We're going to give this a margin of zero. Important. Next thing we have to do is go after the image itself. So we're going to grab the image ID here. Grab the image ID, and come back into our CSS. We're going to paste that in. And then we're going to type IMG after that. We're going to target the image of that div ID. We're going to open curly brace, close curly brace. And then we're going to set this to a width of 100%. Important. All right. And then lastly, we need to target um, the column that it sits in because when it shrinks down to a 770 when mobile size, it's going to add some padding and margin to the sides and we don't want that. Um, if we go in here back into custom CSS, here we're going to target that column. Uh, I forgot what's that column number. Uh, columns. Okay, full column. All right, we're going to grab this and then we're going to paste that here and we need to target that row as well we'll go to this one column row we're going to grab that row number we're going to set this the same so you do a comma and then paste in that new id and you're going to open curly brace close curly brace and then here we're just going to do with 100% important. We're going to do um, margin zero important. We're going to do a padding of zero important. All right, so if we did this all right, this should come out fine. So we're going to save this, open it up in a new incognito window. And voila, the image now spans 100% across the screen. And it doesn't matter how far we spread this out, how far we close it down, you'll see that it will continue to span the entire web. Now this is what I was meaning, like as you stretch it out, you notice that the wider it gets so that the image doesn't get distorted, it has to increase the height as well uh, so that it, can t it carries its initial um, ratio. So that's what I was saying is, you know, if somebody has a very large monitor like I do, um, it's going to take a massive section and that might not be good depending on what you're doing. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then one other thing you could do is like, since this is such a large image, we want to make sure 
under that section that that image sits in use the same um, ID you can open curly brace close curly brace I'm going to do overflow equals hidden now what that will do is anything that spans outside of the uh, section it, it won't um, display so we're going to want to remove the top padding and the bottom padding from the image so that it sits right on the um, the section and this is going to get some craziness going on at this point as far as trying to select stuff so this is where you're going to need to go in and select your image or select your column or whatnot or your row so you'll need to use these uh, selectors on the side instead of on the page so what we can do here is let's say you've got this big image right and you don't need to show a lot of what's up top or a lot that's at bottom so what you can do here is go and then under our section where we added that overflow hidden we can give this a specific height so it could say 400 pixels and that'll reduce the height of the image but it won't affect it as far as it stretching in and out you see it still only show up to 400 pixels height um, so you can lop off that bottom part that you don't need or that top part um, also what you can do is go into the image itself and then we give it a margin top of negative say 20 percent important and now you see I've pretty much shifted the image up so that the center part of it is what I can see in the image and that's what I did with the slider the slider slides the images but the images were shifted up so that only the center part is viewable within that small frame I did now so you can set this as a hard um, you can hard code the the pixel side or you can set it to a percentage um, so we could do you know 20 percent wait a minute belay my last I forgot never mind I can't do that <laughs> um, but yeah so the other way you can do this um, <clears throat> instead of doing a full size image you could just do a section with a background it's a little bit easier to do as well um, and to show you that I'm going to hide this and we're going to unhide this so what I did here is I took an image and I set it at its, as its background um, and it's set to fill 100% width now what you can do with this so we grab if we grab this section here and then go into custom CSS and we go below all of this code we just added earlier we paste that in and then we get open curly or open brackets close brackets and then excuse me braces curly braces not brackets uh, we'll give it a um, give a padding bottom of 30 percent important so now what that has done is it's added 30% padding at the bottom of it so that it extends it out so that you can st see more of the image like we could do um, like if we did 100% you'll see then the whole image will show or if we do um, the whole image and then some because you see there's a big white gap here so we didn't really need that much height um, so we could go cut this down to 50 and you'll see now that fits pretty much the full image except for this little bar at the bottom but you'll notice it'll still be continuously visible the whole um, route um, even go as low as 40 and that'll cut it off just right 
No, you're, it really depends on your resolution and your height as far as how much you want to set that percentage to. So don't think that it's a set 40% and you're good to go. Um, depending on your height will be dependent on how much percentage you use here. Now, one other thing you can do, once again, like with the image that I showed earlier, you can shift this background image up. And you can do that by go, um, setting the attribute for the background position. And what you can do here is we want to set the image to center and then give it 30%. And what that'll do is it shift the image up. Uh, we could do more. Let's see. Um, we could do 80. 90, 100, 1000, you see what I mean? So depending on what you set it to, this percentage here will depend on how much of the image is visible um, height-wise. Or excuse me, not height-wise, but um, like we're, we're essentially what we're doing is we're taking this image and we're moving it up on the background. So if I do 40% here, It'll, it, it shifted it up more. Um, so this is a little bit easier to do instead of setting all of this information here up. Um, but, you know, it's, there's a choice for you to do. Either you can do it with an image element itself or with just the um, setting a background image for a section. I kind of like this option more because say you have a really nice picture but you want to add some stuff to it. You know, then you can get your call to action set up on it. So you can take a really nice background image and then build out your opt-in form or, you know, um, or your call to action, um, whatever you want to set up there. So I, I kind of like this option because it makes it easier. I could still do it with this one, but that will involve me having to set um, you know, create all the elements down here and then I have to change their position so that it pulls it up in the image and you could get kind of squirrely whenever you start doing with, dealing with mobile. Um, so if you just want to display an image, this is probably the best bet. Um, to be more precise um, or, you know, you could do it the other route and just do the background image instead. And this will give you the ability to add wording over your, your images. All right, so um, I hope this helped, guys. Uh, let me know if you need other assistance with this. All right, thanks.